Hi, my name is Rachel Thompson. Okay, so we just had our prayer, and as I was kind of talking to you guys, we're going to talk about missionary work today. And, you know, I think it's perfect because we've been talking about missionary work a lot, and we've seen how missionary work is a huge thing right now, and how with the announcement that there can be more missionaries out there, more sister missionaries, and um, we see that the Lord really wants to move his work along. And so that's why I kind of decided to talk about missionary work because I feel like it's something so huge happening right now. And I just hope that we can, just in this little bit of time, feel that spirit of missionary work and, and feel that fire. And so if we can all leave with that fire and that desire to continue on the work of the Lord, then, then we've fulfilled our purpose here. Um, but I just kind of mainly wanted to talk about the importance of missionary work and, and why we should be doing it and the things that we can show other people in the light that we can bring to their lives. So, for you guys, what what really is the importance of missionary work? Why why are we even doing it? So, Thad, for example, why do you think that missionary work is important? Well, I think missionary work is important because that's the way that the our Heavenly Father's message of the plan of salvation will get out to all the the world, and obviously that's a message that's important for everyone to have. Yeah, exactly. The whole world needs to have what we have, right? And mom, for you, what importance have you seen in missionary work throughout your life? Why, what have you learned of its importance? Well, just as I've seen people's lives change, um, um, just sometimes, sometimes it's just a little change, but sometimes it's a complete 180 that um, they can really have, have so much more happiness and um, joy in their lives if they receive the gospel and so that's you know just to to um, help his children be happy and then be able to come return to him is, is uh, the great importance of it I think plus it's a commandment yeah. <laughs> plus we should be doing it right that's yeah. what the Lord wants us to do but I really appreciate both your comments because you know that people need to know the plan of salvation they need to know Jesus Christ and knowing those things will bring them the happiness that we also have in our lives. And there's a scripture that I love that goes along perfectly what you're saying. So Emily, if, well, if we could all turn to it, it's in um, 2 Nephi chapter 2, verses 6 through 8. And it's one of my, one of my favorite scriptures about missionary work that um, really touched me when we were teaching a woman. I taught a woman one time about missionary work. And... And she was just, she was a member, and she was kind of like, uh, yeah, missionary work, I know I should do it, but it's just not really my thing. And we read this scripture with her, and she completely changed her point of view towards it because she realized how important it was for everyone to know the gospel, just as you two were saying. And Emily, could you mm -hmm. go ahead and read, could you read verses 6 and 8, and then Mom, if you could read or no, sorry, you've read verses 6 and 7, and then Mom, if you could read 8. Mm -hmm. And just pay attention mainly and hear how, how this scripture applies to missionary work. And, you know, this chapter talks a lot about the plan of salvation and how, you know, redemption comes through Jesus Christ and how that also is something we need to share with everyone. So, Emily, if you could go ahead and read 6 and 8, 7, sorry. Wherefore, redemption cometh in and through the Holy Messiah, for he is full of grace and truth. Behold, he offereth himself a sacrifice for sin, to answer the ends of the law unto all those who have a broken heart and a contrite spirit, unto none else can the ends of the law be answered. Wherefore, how great the importance to make these things known unto the inhabitants of the earth, that they may know that there is no flesh that can dwell in the presence of God, save it be through the merits and mercy and grace of the Holy Messiah who layeth down his life according to the flesh, and taketh it again by the power of the Spirit, that he may bring to pass the resurrection of the dead, being the first that should rise. Thank you. So Emily, from what we kind of read in here, what is it, how does it include missionary work in the scripture? Because it's talking about um, the atonement of Jesus Christ, but how does it also apply to missionary work? Um, in verse 6, when it says, Redemption cometh through holy, the Holy Messiah, which is the atonement, if people don't know about the atonement, or like many people who are looking for the truth, um, just think or might think that they have done too many things so that they can't change, or that they can't, that that God doesn't is too disappointed in them to let them change. 
So this shows people that the redemption, they can be redeemed by the atonement of Christ. Oh, that's perfect. That's exactly, exactly what I get from here as well. And I love, you know, in verse 8, that's something that we read with this woman who wasn't really, didn't really care about doing missionary work. And when she read that, that how great the importance to make these things known, to make the things known that Emily explained unto the inhabitants of the earth, that they may know that there is no flesh that can dwell in the presence of God, save it be through Jesus Christ. So really, everything goes back to the atonement. Everything is through the atonement of Jesus Christ. And if people don't know of the atonement, they're not going to be able to come unto him, and they're not going to be able to really feel of that spirit in their lives. They're not going to be able to have that happiness to be able to repent and have faith and really turn their lives around. And so that's why it's our opportunity and our responsibility to bring, to help others know of that, to help others know of the atonement. And I, you know, over time I feel like we come to understand the atonement even better. And I feel like as we do understand the atonement, we become more converted. And as we become more converted, we want people to know of the gospel. We want them to have what we have in our lives. And I have no doubt in my mind that, that Jesus Christ truly did die for us. He died for every single one of us. And with that knowledge, I wish that other people could know that. That other people can know that there is someone who understands them perfectly. Someone who suffered everything that they're suffering. Someone who understands everything that they're going through. When they think no one else does, they can at least know that Jesus Christ does. And if they know that they can have that relationship with the Savior, then they can make it through this life okay. But they have to know that first, and we are so blessed to have that knowledge. And Thad, for you, um, how has the knowledge of the atonement been a blessing in your life? Well, as you may know, none of us are perfect. <laughs> and so because of that, uh, and we know that no imperfect thing can dwell with God, save it be through Jesus Christ. So. I stand before you as an imperfect being, and, and I know I can't get there without him, so it's tremendously important for me to know that, for my own personal life, and I would really like everyone to know it, but especially my family as well. And for you, how can, um, how can having this knowledge of the atonement help you be a better missionary, a better member missionary? Well, I think, I think by focusing on the, that message, and what it could mean to someone else in their lives. I mean, to, to, to have someone, to, to teach that to someone and have them really understand and realize that and then internalize it in their own life is what it's really all about. Mm -hmm. Is to really get them to understand the importance of the role of the Savior in their lives. So as a member missionary, um, if I were able to talk to someone and explain to them about the restored gospel and the truth that it brings to us and the focus on the plan of salvation and the role of the Savior in that plan of salvation to get them to realize that there's nothing better than that. Yeah, exactly. It's going to completely change their lives. And that's something, exactly what you're seeing, reminds me of so many missionaries in the Book of Mormon. The Book of Mormon <clears throat> is full of missionary work. And I just wanted to share this last scripture with you um, that we all know the story of the sons of Mosiah and how they were going against the church and how the people of the church and their father prayed that they would come unto the Lord and an angel appears to them and they are converted. And then after that, they want to go unto the Lamanites, this wicked people, and preach to them the gospel. And um, in Mosiah 28, verse 3, I'll just um, read that real quick to you, or just a part that I love that they say, now they were desirous that salvation should be declared to every creature, for they could not bear that any human sh soul should perish. And I feel like once we understand the atonement, we also will feel that way, that we couldn't bear that any human soul, that any beloved child of our Heavenly Father could perish. And so I just want to invite all of you this week, and myself as well, that we can pray each day um, to recognize more the opportunities, the missionary opportunities in our lives, that we can seize them. And I know that if we all pray um, each day that we will have more of those opportunities and the Lord will prepare us and that we will say the things that those people need to hear. And so I want to invite you to do that and I promise that if you do do that, if you pray um, to you know, feel of that spirit telling you that um, you will be able to um, feel that spirit telling you, okay, you can do this. Um, you can go talk to this person. 
and I have a testimony that this is true and that um, you will be able to be better missionaries as you understand more the atonement. And I love, I love missionary work and know that it truly is of God and that um, we are so blessed to be able to be members and have the light of the gospel in our lives. And we say these things in the name, or say these things in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Amen.